You see that? Giant laser trying to smash the moon to pieces? I'll leave that thought there. hasn't been fully operational in a long time, but I can get it running again. There'll be a console around here somewhere. Get me to it and I'll do the rest. I've been thinking, and now I'm free of him. The future's so iridescently bright. A new life betokens a new name. Felicity, it means happiness. From now on, I'm Felicity. Yeah, sure, go for it. Plug me in. I'll call the train. It might take a few minutes. Ten hut! Train incoming! Okay, let's check out the factory and get things moving ASAP. We need mucho robot bodies if we're gonna retake Helios and save the day and stuff. Capiche? Whoa! I'll give you something to shoot at! And the world just got 25% more. I'm making an ice bond, not this time. This is where we're gonna build a super awesome robot army. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. Aren't you the naysayer? Evidently, this place became a regular ghost town when Dahl packed up and left after the Krakening. But we just need to get to the power suit section and get things up and running again. Oh, talks. This place could have a serious talk infestation. Hope they've not destroyed any key systems in there. Still, you know how to handle yourself, which is something. I win! override. We need another way in. Find a console and hook me up to it. I bet I can do something about this. Perfect. 
Just give me a moment to look around. There's barely any power running through this. Ta-da! More nasties. I need backup! Back here! <laughs> Filthy wire chews are everywhere. I hate them. Plus, it looks like local scabs have set up shop. Push through here and find me a console to plug into so I can find out what's ahead. And kill me some bugs while you're at it. how fun exploring new systems can be. Right then, past this building is the Stingray Factory Complex and beyond that, the Bot Factory. It's a pretty straight shot. I should be able to get us past any locked gates. You can get us past any stupid people. Another jammed door. Well, maybe it'll open if you give it a good pull. to the Stingray facility. Could you get me access to that gate console? I meant that rhetorically. I mean, you need to. Uh, we've got a problem. The security system's being all fighty and feisty, so... Sorry. I'll work on opening the door. You deal with the turrets. Great. And thanks for this. so they only fire at talks. Should help a bit. I'll get this stubborn thing open. Hopefully. Hey kids, how's it going down there? Having fun? Keeping things on track with the whole robot army plan? The program wasn't so crazy. I'll see you soon. You need a sweater? Bad guy, Bob. News 
flash, this door's being a huge pain in my digital ass. There's a jump pad nearby I can activate. Let's use that to get in. It was probably put there by scavs who used pads like that to sneak in and out of Concordia. This again. Charming. Looks like scavs have put up crude electric fields, presumably to keep out talks. Follow that cable. Let's see if we can shut it down. must be connected to a master fuse box somewhere. Follow them. They should lead the way out. master fuse box. Shutting it down should get us past this last electric field, though I suppose it'll probably shut down all the other fields as well. So eyes peeled for talks. Talks! How do they get in? Oh, they're bloody everywhere! Double friggin' trouble! Let's kill some bad guys! Don't do too well, you're making me look bad! And yeah, the world just got 25% more handsome! Gang. But that didn't stop me finding these repulsive scraps of humanity disgusting. Each one of the kills making the universe a cleaner place.
driving me nuts. We get it. You captured our huge, scary laser. Gold star. Hello? Uh, help? I'm being held hostage in the main control room just ahead of your current position. Any chance you could, you know, rescue me? The bloody scabs will eat me when they realize I'm not what I say I am. There are some perks to this job after all. Tripped it forever. Come on over. I'll open up the door for you. <laughs> I'll open the door. Am I glad to see you? Here I was doing some help yourself exploring, working on a pet project I've been cooking up when the scav swept in, about to cut me up bad when I persuaded them I'm a medic. I am a doctor, but more the Hyperion RD kind. Um, hey Jack, uh, is this guy for real? I don't recognize him. Yeah, what's your name? Ah, uh, sorry bruv, Gladstone Katoa, D-Division. What brings you here? Oh, D-Division, that's where they hide all the Brainiacs who work on the, all the super secret awesome stuff, right? Uh, I work on experimental tech. The Division Green let me using the resources here. Why are you here? Well, Gladstone Katoa, I need to get back to Helios and retake the big-ass laser on it from a bunch of freaky-looking doll military types. And if we don't, the moon's gonna go boom and take half of Pandora with it. You know, the huge. Oh man, I wondered what was going on. So, why are you here? Shouldn't you be somewhere more space stationy? Jack wants to build a robot army driven by my AI, then retake Helios with it. I'm Felicity, by the way. Oh. Gotcha. You're after my prototype. Well, it's not finished. What? No, we're here to build robots. What prototype are you talking about? Ah, oh, right. I was working on an uh, off-the-books project, creating a master bot capable of digistructing an almost unlimited supply of other bots. My prototype's almost done, but the scavs stopped me from installing some key parts. 
Besides, I wouldn't want something that powerful to fall into their grimy hands. This guy? This guy right here? Tell me more. Yeah, bruv. We'll just need to finish putting the hardware together. After that, install a military-grade AI and POW! It should pump out combat-ready loaders. Way ahead of you, man. What do you think old Felicity is here for? What? You want me inside some kind of constructor bot? That's not what I had in mind. Ooh, constructor. I like it. Nice. So, uh, tech dude, this prototype can digistruct combat loaders, right? Because, to be honest, those power suits seem kind of lame. Yeah, totally. But first, you'll need to finish putting together the prototype. You'll need to get access to the main bot factory itself through the transportation gate. I'll monitor the systems from here. All right, go Team Robot Army. Do I not get a say in this? Sure, yeah, whatever makes you happy. Just make my loaders deadly. By the way, last guy who double-crossed me has got nothing but a bunch of bullet holes and a stupid look on his face. Get me? Why would I cross you, bruv? You're trying to save the moon and you seem like a stand-up guy. Plus, you're about to help me complete my life's work. Resources on Helios for my project. And there was all this old dull tech just left lying around. They gave me an escort team, but the scavs chewed them up pretty quick. I wonder if that's what happened to them. Anyway, then I was on my own. I knew they'd send a rescue party though. I never stopped hoping. Ah, uh, yeah, I agree you didn't send us. I did. But poor oh, Hyperion! Oh, bruv! They're the coolest company! There's three years of my life! We'd never want to work for anyone else! You picked a winner here, Felicity! I don't want to count talks before they're hatched, but... You know what? I think you're right. Hello there.
is going to be way more kick-ass. Speaking of which, how's that going? Jack here! The real one! Let's just get this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers. Finally here! So, this is the birth canal of my new robot army, huh? Yeah, this is where I was doing most of my work before the scavs came and forced me to be their medic. We'll need to clear the area of them before getting to work. This kind of looks like a junkyard. Are you sure we can build something badass up in here? Of course, Prof. The scabs make it look way worse than it is. First thing we need to do is restore the main power. Head over to the breaker room and see what's what. Locked up. Mm. Let's see if we can get you in through the window. Let me see if I can get that cover down. Hey, dog hunter. Piss off. These guys are rude. Looks like scabs have barricaded themselves inside. That security glass is vulnerable to cold. Reckon you should freeze and smash. Yeah. Whoa, freaky, freaky. Let's 
sexy. You need a sweater? And the world just got 25% more hands. should be in this room. Just flip it on. part. That's the really clever bit. I already have the process set up, but we'll need the material from a few of the security bots. I was never able to get them myself. Well, let me guess. All brains, no balls. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The little buggers back quite a punch. Head back to the security office that looks over the main room and call them in. Of course, that might attract more scabs too, so be prepared.
Lab. I'll walk you through the process. It should already be set up. Who needs a hero? Jack here! The real one! Place the pieces in that converter over there. It'll melt down the raw materials and form the prototype eye. An eye converter? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Why the hell would they make an eye converter? They didn't make it. I did. I was here for a long time preparing this lab for my prototype. This is highly sensitive experimental technology. Really? Because it looks like a toaster. Here it goes. All my hard work finally paying off. We're seeing history in the making. Okay, now pick it up. Oh, cool. Okay, now head back to the main room. We need to plug that baby into the main torso. and the cage should open. This is what we're building. Oh, I was so close to finishing this when the scabs arrived. It'll pump out a lot of robots, enough to make the difference against Dahl or whatever they are. Oh, it's, uh, looks kind of like a dumpster wrapped in sadness. Hey, no offense. This constructor will be able to digistruct highly complex machines at an unsurpassed rate. Now that's done, we need to mount the torso onto the crane system. this installation. You know, you could just copy me. It takes a little longer, but it's the same thing, and I'd find it much less terrifying. Exactly how much less terrifying? It's the difference between brain surgery and being scanned. Uh, let me think about it. That's good. That's good. Now we need to attach the turrets, then the legs. Huh? <laughs> 
recalibrate it. I can help prepare the targeting systems. Oh, that's okay, thanks. I've got a faster way to do that. Then let the turrets work their magic. Stingy, stingy! Yes, but no! This can't be good. Uh, it's now at 50% accuracy. Getting there. I Look, swear, bro. Change in the wind. are in the other lab. They're still attached to an experimental version of the dial power suit, so you'll need to separate them and get them into the crane system. How about I take over the power suit, then walk the legs to where they can be assembled? Wouldn't that be easier? Hey, that's not a bad idea. I didn't even think of that. It'll be a nice warm-up for you.
Father Jack. Sucking it.
rotate the rails around. Head into that office and use the controls to get things moving again. Kill the bad guy. Prototype is on its way to the testing chamber. Head on over there so we can install our AI. Okie dokie, tickety talk, let's do this. Exactly how long will it take to copy you? Couple of days at the absolute most. Uh-uh. Too long. Zarpadon will have popped the moon like a zit by then. Look, I'm really sorry, kiddo. This is the only way. Vault Hunter, do it. Um, I guess it's for the best. in a fight. Trash the rest. Felicity, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can hear myself die. I can... Yeah. Stop it.
Gladstone, give me a full memory reboot. I want that thing sane, and I want it badass. Sir, yes sir. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this broad, go. That's cool, but why are they attacking us? Gladstone? Jack 
Stuff needs a kick in the pants too. Let me get that down. Think up awesome new names and colors for Hyperion weapons. All right, I think we're good to go. Come back to Moxie's. We'll get you geared up and ready for the big fight. Thanks for the Moonstone, chump! Holy crap! I done sold it! <laughs> One bone every minute! Holy crap! I done sold it! <laughs> Take it! <laughs> One bone every minute! I get so lonely! John, why is it scary? Here's where it gets fun. I stashed some loot away for a special occasion. Guess this qualifies. Help yourselves. Here we go, everybody. The jamming signal's down, we've got a robot army, and it's time to get back to Helios and turn off that death laser. Roland and I will head up with you guys and provide support. And I'll be cheering you on from the cozy confines of this cantina. I don't know how hairy things have gotten up there, so be prepared for anything. Let's go. We'll fast travel up there first. We follow behind. <laughs> 